that's me, student body president. No one wanted to take this job until I volunteered. It was too much work. Then, Zach Greenberg came along and said, let there be car washes to help raise money for the trip to Europe. Let there be bake sales for new sports equipment. And let there be school dances and girls to attend these dances so that no young men will ever be forced to salsa with nurse crops. Was it worth it? You bet it wasn't. It was a sucky job, just like everybody said. The car washes, I washed the cars. The bake sales, I never want to see a Rice Krispie Square again. And the dances, I spent my Friday nights filling up the punch bowl while my ungrateful friends got to dance with all those hot babes. Student fundraising report. You mean somebody finally did something besides me? The debate team held that talkathon. Grand total, $52. They made a profit? No, you owe them $52. Should I sell your CD player? <sighs> Zach, look. The school election is tomorrow. In 24 hours, some other stuff will be sitting behind that desk going broke. Yeah, if we can find a candidate. What about Witherspoon? He'd stand in the middle of a lightning storm with a kite if somebody asked him to. As I recall, you did. The school needs you. You're the only one who cares. No, I'm not. You care. Why don't you run for president? I can't. My dad's headmaster. Conflict of interest. Besides, I have a life. Talk to Witherspoon. He'll do it. He will? That's, that's right! Why? Blind idealism, recent head injury, what do you care? You're off the hook. Well, hail to the chief. Here is Barry Witherspoon now. Zach, I can't thank you enough. Very generous of you. Anytime you want to take a spin, drop by. Take a spin? Dunleavy? Yeah. I may have said something about a complimentary mountain bike. Damn! So, people actually use this thing for voting? Sure. When I was young, I, I thought the, uh, the school might learn something by using it in an election. It works just like a typewriter. You type in the names, and a card pops out listing the candidates. Well, there's only one. Barry Witherspoon. Lightning Rod Witherspoon? Thought he was supposed to avoid stress. Vernon Mantiful? That's not right. I, I, I typed in Barry Witherspoon. Vernon isn't even running for president. Wrong again, Greenberg. Headmaster Killaby, I am throwing a rally in the gym this afternoon, followed by a luau on the playing field. I intend to win this campaign and give Horace Hyde White the kind of strong student leadership it deserves. Very commendable, Vernon. The Mantifuls are born to lead, sir. I'm simply fulfilling my destiny. And when I do, there'll be some changes around this school. Big changes, Greenberg. The machine knew that Vernon was running for president. It predicted the future. Forget the machine. We don't need it to get with the spoon on the ballot. No, we need a miracle. Vernon, Vernon, he's our man. He can't buy us, no one can. Vernon, Vernon, he's our man. He can't buy us, no one can. Vernon, Vernon, he's our man. On to victory! Gwen, you may have a free concert ticket. Vernon, you know I'm not voting for you. You might want a friend in high places someday. And I might need a student tutor. A paid student tutor. Vernon, your dad's bank couldn't hold enough money to pay me to tutor you. Gwen, someday you'll realize everyone has their price. <clears throat> Cut to the chase. Vernon, this is a sucky job, and you know it is. But it's a job with the power to make your life miserable. You're already hall monitor. I almost got in detention twice this week just because of you. Almost. That's the problem, isn't it, Greenberg? 
Because you're president, the teachers cut you slack. That's going to change. When I am president, it will be Vernon Mantiful that the teachers come to admire and trust. From then on, they will listen to me, and you will be roadkill. Hey, look, nine ninety-five a carton. We're set. This weekend, it is just you, me, and the Baywatch Hawaii Marathon. Just don't tell your mother I'm feeding you cheesy pals. What's up? Tomorrow's FFZ day, right? Freedom for Zach? Vernon can't win. The whole school will go down the tubes. It has to be Witherspoon. Lightning Rod Witherspoon? He's a good kid. Glows in the dark a little bit. He hasn't a chance against Vernon's money. Even the voting machine doesn't want him on the ballot. Zach, machines don't vote. People do. And if you're so worried, then you should run yourself. Everybody likes you. You could be Vernon's money any day. I want my life back, Dad. Well, that's between you and your conscience. <sighs> Why do I always have to be the one with the conscience? <laughs> You and me now. And either I get what I came for, or one of us is not leaving this room alive. Oh, tough guy, eh? Don't even think about it. I'm not giving up. It's either Witherspoon or Bus. You will cooperate. I am human. You are a machine. I will not give up. My weekends! I will not give up my weekends! Vernon's name is gone. We have a clean slate. We can get Witherspoon on the ballot. Hey guys, I did it! I beat the machine! We can vote for it! Witherspoon. Where is everybody? Hey! Hey, hey, wait! Newspaper editor? Vernon Mantiful? Harvey Kellogg owns the newspaper. Vernon Mantiful? Debate team captain? Science club chairman? That's Spess's job. Athlete of the year? Oh, dream on, Vernon. Hey. Hey! I want answers and I want them fast. How did Vernon do this? Who did he bribe? The janitor? He didn't bribe anyone. He didn't have to. He owns the place. What's the date? I don't know. May something. May? It can't be. Just five minutes ago, it was November. <sighs> Come on. What happened to the president's office? Vernon got rid of that last year. This is a storage room now. Last year? Yeah. Last year, you're living in the past, man. No. The machine did this. I'm living in the future. Spence! Cam! Where are you guys? What are you doing here, Greenberg? I go to school here, guys, remember? Nice try. You were expelled. Get him! Spence! 
Vince, listen, there are some really weird things happening out there, and I need your... Zack file, 682-alpha prime. Zack file, 227-roger Corman. Spence, what are you doing? You're shredding the Zack files. Zack? Is that you? Mm -hmm. I thought I'd never see you again. How long has it been, Spence? Months. Almost a year. You look different. Almost like your old self. That's because I am my old self. That freaky voting machine transported me into the future. What's with the shredder? Vernon said I have to destroy every Zack file I've ever kept. Vernon? He can't make you do that. He can if I want to stay in school. I have to. I don't want to end up like... Like who? Zack, are you nuts? The Brooks Brothers have put an APB on you. If anyone ever finds out you're in here... Hey. You look different. Just like your old self. I am my old self. He says he traveled through time. Says? What, my word isn't good enough for you guys anymore? Things are different now, Zach. And you haven't been yourself for a while. I haven't been myself? What about you guys? I mean, what's with Verna's favorite tie and those glasses? Zach, in times of great trouble, men of vision to make sacrifices for the greater good. He's Vernon's head of security. What? How else was I supposed to run damage control? This is pathetic. Didn't anyone stand up to Vernon? What about Killer Bee? I want an explanation. Now. You were given a bee. I think that was quite generous given the circumstances. I am a mantiful. I don't receive anything under an A+. You know the rules. Vernon, I, I really can't teach this way. Then maybe you shouldn't teach. May I remind you who owns this school, Killerby? Your father. You're dancing on the edge, Killerby. One phone call and I can send you to the unemployment line. Shall I show you how to dial? Dad! <laughs> Hello, Vernon. Time for your tutorial. Honey, you really don't have to do this. It's okay, Dad. Really. Gwen is tutoring Vernon, and Killer Bee's the only one keeping Vernon under control. Gwen knows we can't afford to lose him. All right, Roman history. And we'll do it my way? Yes, Vernon. Your way. Ready? This can't be the future. I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll talk to my dad. He'll find a way out of this. Zach, don't go there. Don't tell me Vernon's dad bought my apartment out, too. It's not that. It's maybe he should see it for himself. Dad, you were right. I should never have let Barry Witherspoon run against Vernon. The future's a disaster. Zach, it wasn't your fault. Uh, hello, I'm calling from the Times. Dad, I've traveled back from the past. Can you at least give me two minutes? Hey, you do look different, almost like your old self. I am my old self. Have you been listening? Uh, look, son, it's not like the old times when I was a reporter. If, if I get fired from this job, how am I going to keep food on the table? You're not a writer anymore? Hello, I'm with the Mantiful Times, and we'd like to offer you a 10-week subscription for a mere seven cents a day. It, Hello? Hello? You're selling newspaper subscriptions. For Vernon's dad? He owns the paper, Zach. <sighs> Vernon made his dad buy the newspaper, and he got you fired. Demoted. And I never held that against you, Zach. Jeez, pals. We just filming? 
Oh, no. I'm a game show junkie. All I wanted was a little free time to sit and watch some TV. So you sat. Now you can't get up. This is not going to happen. No one is going to ruin my life, not even me. Zach, it's too late. I'm not going to buy that. Where's the voting machine? Vernon banned democracy. Once he was elected, we never saw it again. <sighs> Vernon must have hidden it somewhere. Where are you going? <sighs> Back to the past. Zach. If the Brooks Brothers find you in the school, you won't get past yesterday. Better leave this to a man of vision. Julius, 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 me, my Julius, Augustus, 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 me, my Augustus, King Louis. Louie, 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 banana, banana, bo-booie, me, my, bo-booie, Louie. Ebro, me, Nero, swing those hips. Nero, Nero, bo-booie, banana, banana, bo-booie, me, my, bo-booie, Nero, Nero, Napoleon, swing that booty. Napoleon, Napoleon, bo-booie, banana, banana, bo-booie, me, my, bo-booie, Napoleon, Napoleon, bo-booie, banana, banana, bo-booie, Caviar, anyone? Don't let you rock. No, guys, I'm from the past. This I do on my own. First you don't accept Witherspoon's name, now you try and zap me? What do I have to do to get out of this mess? Evil triumphs when good men do nothing? I didn't do nothing. I worked my butt off for this school. Evil triumphs when good men who work their butts off do nothing. So what are you saying? That this is my fault? I made this mess. It's your future, Greenberg. You typed my name. You wouldn't accept Witherspoons because you knew that he would never beat Vernon. But you'll accept mine, right? <sighs> this time, no more baked sales. Greenberg, you in there? Greenberg, you in there? Goodbye, free weekends. You dog me, Greenberg! Zach, what are you doing in there? It's almost time to vote. Well, Headmaster Killerbury, what's the date? Uh, I don't know, November something. November? I'm back! I'm back! Headmaster Killerbury, I'm back! And I'm running for president! Yes! I'm running for president, did you hear? I'm back! I'm back! Oh, Witherspoon, you, you wonderful kid, you yes, yes, yes! What? You'll never have to play the name game with Vernon again. I love this old school. And this old voting machine. Zach, wait. Are you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's going to ruin your life for another whole year. At least I'll have a life. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to go to the beach party on our own. Beach party? Oh. I almost forgot your receipt for um, the campaign posters. I'll just uh, sell your 
comic book collection. My sympathies, man. Such a sucky job. You and I are going to have a little talk. Zach Fowl, 874-Bedford Falls. Since this entire paranormal event took place in the future, this investigator has no memory of the event. Neither do any of the witnesses. Therefore, we will have to fall back on the critiques of the film, It's a Wonderful Life, which I'm told chronicles a strangely similar event. Now that's a movie. I think Zach's a bit like George Bailey. You know, kind, considerate, caring. Of course, George inherited those qualities from his dad. In fact, if it wasn't for his dad's influence, I think George would have jumped off the bridge. The problem with George Bailey? Nice guy, but born to lose. If it weren't for his friend Sam Winston, smart, rich, great fashion sense, George would have jumped off the bridge. It's about this girl, Mary, who falls in love with this guy, George Bailey. To tell the truth, he's kind of a wimp. And if it weren't for Mary's calm reassurance and inner strength, George would have jumped off that bridge. Mr. Potter, now there is a hero for our time. He would have saved that town if that dimwit Bailey hadn't gotten his way. As far as I'm concerned, George Bailey should have jumped. Yeah, I remember that movie. My dad bought it for Christmas. It was in black and white. Weird. I think I fell asleep.